Well, well. Trying to follow in my footsteps, are you? I usually charge for lessons, you know. That shot is done like this. You can't do it, kid. But don't worry, my boy. You're not the only one. No one else can do it. I'm the best. I'll show you, Dad. Time for the real thing. See if I can do it right. You can't. You're out of your league. You're out of your league. You can't. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't. No one else can. You're out of your league. You can't. You're out of your league. You can't. You're out of your league. The best. Yeah, right. Whoa! What's that called? Doesn't have a name. Anyone can do it if they try. Show us one more time, yeah? Uh-oh, the girl watching. Don't fail now. We'll never know how it went. <laughs> I knew it! I knew you were something special! That was the Jack shot, wasn't it? What? How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Jack showed it to me when I was a child. She already know my game. He called it the Sublimely Magnificent Jet Shot Mark III. Huh. Stupid name, huh? You know what? There is no Mark I or Mark II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And... They really did come back. I used to get so mad. <laughs> Is he alive, you think? I don't know. But Sir Jekt was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Yes. So, if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. What would you do if you found him? Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. After everything he put Mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm? Your father's famous, too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Hmm. Ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps, as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. 
Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Show me that move again. Yo! <laughs> I didn't think my old man would come to Luca. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something... Sound like me with Ticket. gonna happen. And <laughs> these feelings of mine are usually right. I watch other people play from time to sure, time. I had told Waka I'd help him win the tournament, but... I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all anymore. How can you not love this game? There's so much drama going on. Conflict with the father, becoming a guardian. You got sucked out of your homeland and you don't know where you are. I think another reason why I love this game so much is because it kind of takes me back to that time. You know, those young years when you. Maybe not for everybody, but for me, I was kind of a runt. And I had a lot of people telling me I couldn't do this and couldn't do that. Wasn't good enough. A lot of stuff like that happens in this game. Ah, over there, the ships carrying the players are arriving now. This would be dock number two. And I didn't even know my father. I guess that's why I don't give Titus such a hard time, because I understand the dude, in a way. Sim, isn't that right, Jimmy? Yes, Baba, they're going to be pulling out all the stops to try and bring back the cup this year. Exciting, isn't it, folks? Our next team off the ramp is... I actually understand all the characters in this game. Well, well, well. If it isn't, the Basade Aurora. They're a living, breathing, statistical impossibility. I've never seen a team this bad. That's right, in 23 years, they've never made it past the first round. Only a few die-hard fans are in the audience today. Best of luck to them and a safe journey back to Bisset. I think the Blitzball tournament is actually coming up real soon. Moving right along. And I don't have any idea how to play that no more. Here they are, folks. Our very own Luca Goers. They've got power. They've got speed. They've got teamwork. They're an all-round first-class team, and they're back home in Luca. Without a doubt, they are the favorite this year, Baba. And after the way they dominated last year, it'd take a miracle for them to lose today. You can say that again, Jenna. Look at the crowd, folks. Look at the crowd. Looks like all of Luca has turned out to cheer the goers on. Jimma and Baba. <laughs> I know, and you know, folks. The Luca goers are number one. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, it's like this every year, yeah? Don't let it bother you. <laughs> what in heaven's name were you doing up there? 
Uh oh, a new remix thing. The we Luca thing. Let's see how I like it. We were. Maester Micah is here. Already? The number three doc. What's up now? Maester Micah has arrived. That's what. Micah? Maester? Maester Micah is the leader of all the peoples of Spira. He's come all the way from Bavel. The tournament is being held to honor his 50 years as Maester. 50 years? Shouldn't he be, uh, retired by now? Hey, mind your mouth now. Uh-oh. Watch yourself. I ain't gotta help y'all win this tournament. Let's explore the town and check things out before we get on with the story. This thing wasn't nothing too spectacular. I mean, I liked it. It was just a little basic town thing. Oh. I don't know how I feel about this little trumpet effect they added. Mmm, I don't know about that. Kind of gives it a feel that I don't really care for. Mm, I don't know. I think I like the original Luca theme better. Can't see a thing. Shh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, Seymour. Let's see if they remixed his face. That's a Guado, right? Who could it be? Isn't that Maester Seymour? Oh yeah, they touched him up a little bit. Class the way to tell who the villain is in Final Fantasy. They always wear purple. And blue. People of Spira, I thank you for your generous welcome. Rise, Maester Seymour, and all of you as well. I present to you the son of Maester Jiskel Guado, who departed for the far plain of Fort Night Pass. As some of you already know, he has been officially ordained a Maester of Yevon. I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jiskel worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. I vow to carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as Maester to the best of my abilities. Hmm. You too, bow your head. Dude, who you getting rough with, man? Watch yourself. I don't know this clown. To be bowing. Really psychs you up, yeah? All right, last meeting before the match. Hustle. He actually says something right there in the Japanese version that they couldn't translate or didn't bother to translate, so they left it silent. An awkward silent stare moment. Another opportunity to save. Whatever. Is it time for the tournament? Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got here. What? 
Where's Waka? That the matchup draws. We had to play the Gores in the first match last year. The year before that, and the one before that, too. Well, we would have lost to anyone anyway. Can't walk Come on, you bums. <laughs> Trying to give you out some swagger. We're playing the Albed Sykes first. If we win, we're in the finals. One win? That's right, we got seated. Two wins, and we're the champions. Huh? <laughs> well? First things first. Let's go over the basics again, boys. Time for Blitzball. <laughs> 